Our new shiny red beta engine overheated as we prepared to leave the slip the other day. I went below to troubleshoot the issue, thinking I must have forgotten to open the engine raw water through hull. First I checked the through hull, but it was open. Next, I checked the raw water strainer. It was clean. Next, I removed the cover on the raw water pump to check the impeller. The impeller looked fine, but I removed it and installed a new one anyway. I then moved on to the heat exchanger. I removed the cover on the aft end of the heat exchanger, and it looked like I had finally found the problem. Well, the shiny new red uh, beta started to overheat. so. Uh, we started doing a little bit of troubleshooting trying to find the problem. I've found the problem. Uh, this uh, cooling line is completely plugged with what looks like calcium buildup. And there's the other end of the same line. Uh, interesting. We've uh, replaced the uh, impeller already, thinking that might be it. Obviously checked the sea strainer as well. And just kind of working our way down, and uh, yeah, this is an interesting discovery. I don't know if I can get a, uh, a really good photograph, but uh, you can see here that uh, this blockage was, uh, oh, geez, probably a quarter inch thick. It was just a solid piece of uh, calcium that uh, built up in that fitting, but. Uh, it was just amazing. A little bitty pinhole was all that was left in the middle, and that uh, that was why we were having uh, overheating issues. Well, I've got no idea what would have caused that uh, calcium buildup in there, but uh, as you can see here, there was a uh, fairly significant uh, amount of stuff. It formed a perfect blockage in this tube. So, we've got it cleaned out now, and put a new gasket in, and uh, reassemble everything. But, what I had found was only half of the problem. Well, in the process of chasing this overheating problem, we pulled the hose off the uh, top of the raw water pump, and uh, look at this. A perfect circle of calcium built up inside the outlet for the pump. Additionally, a perfect circle of calcium inside the hose coming out of the pump. It's annoying and at the same time a little bit satisfying to at least uh, found the source of uh, the issues. This fitting goes uh, back on right here. And the spot where the calcium buildup is right here which sits exactly above the exhaust. I'm just wondering if heat from the exhaust uh, may have uh, accelerated the uh, formation of that calcium buildup in there. Anyway, time to reassemble things. Well, our first step is going to be to uh, remove this old O-ring which is probably perfectly good, but I know darn well that if we don't replace it, it will leak. So, we're going to replace it. Fortunately, I've got a new one in stock on my spare parts. All right, let's put this thing back together. Like so. We have really good access to the motor. The entire repair, including troubleshooting, disassembly, and reassembly, took about two and a half hours. I was fortunate in that I had all of the necessary spare parts already on board. Beta engine is really simple to work on, and everything is really easily accessible. All right, well. I believe uh, this repair 
is done. Uh, we've got all the hoses hooked back up, hose clamps are tightened, uh, the area is cleaned up. Time to go up above, uh, fire the engine up, and uh, see if we've got cooling water coming out of the exhaust now. Well, we have success. It's amazing that uh, that buildup, I have no idea how it formed, how quickly it formed, but uh, obviously we've got everything working fine now. Satisfying repair. Well, in the continuing mystery of the engine overheating, this is uh, the majority of the residue that uh, I cleared out from those uh, fittings. The uh, piece over here on the right was on the top of the raw water pump uh, in the hose itself. This piece and this residue here were on the uh, aft end of the heat exchanger. The round piece was in the uh, connecting tube. All of this residue was actually in the uh, fitting itself. Uh, I had thought that perhaps this material was a salt built up, but it appears to be calcium in that I dumped uh, these uh, two pieces here, the rings, uh, in a bowl of vinegar, thinking if they were salt they would dissolve, but uh, they didn't. Anyway, uh, the mystery continues. I should also add that I, I, I did the highly scientific test of uh, licking them with my tongue, and uh, they do not taste salty at all. They're also uh, quite hard and crunchy. I, I doubt that the uh, camera can pick it up, but they're, uh, they're quite hard. Well, we're uh, out for a little motor ride today, uh, just to make sure that the engine repair is in fact repaired. Yeah, it looks promising so far. Temperature is staying uh, it looks like somewhere around 160, 170. The thermostat was 160 degrees, so this looks like uh, we have solved the engine overheating problem.